Hi, I'm Lori. I'm a pelvic floor physiotherapist. I've got an anatomy lesson for you. This is, the, this is a female pelvis and the bones, you can see the organs inside. If you look carefully at it, it's actually a ring shape. The two big sacroiliac joints in the back and then a joint in the front that's called the pubic symphysis. It's held together with a cartilage disc in the center and then tough fibrous bands but the muscles that support it are also really helpful to us, particularly in pregnancy, as you've got more relaxin, which is a hormone that helps to spread the pelvis and allow uh, the delivery of the baby. But sometimes the muscles aren't as strong as the baby grows in size, the abdominal muscles are being stretched. It's still well worth working on those muscles, particularly what's called the transverse abdominal muscle, the thigh muscles called the adductor muscles, and then the pelvic floor itself. A lot of people, a lot of pregnant women, particularly towards the end of the second trimester and the third trimester, find um, a pelvic belt helpful to stabilize it. When the pain comes on, it's usually quite central and it's often worse with impact. This can be a time when people have to give up jogging, unfortunately. Sometimes the sacroiliac belt helps, but staying off your feet can be one of the most important things in terms of settling that soreness. Keeping the strength in these muscles can really be important, and a lot of women are beginning to lose that pelvic floor control towards the end of the third trimester. So come and ask if you're having trouble with pain in the pubic symphysis.